Welcome back to Off The Grid with Bert. We picked this little boiler up a couple of days ago. It was getting thrown out from an old um, food uh, R&D lab. They must have been using it for steaming various applications of their R&D experiments. But anyway, it was going to be scrapped, so uh, I grabbed it. Uh, it's a top fired boiler. Uh, Martech Energy Systems, 75 kilowatts, if you can see that there. Um, 115 kilograms an hour of steam. Um, now these burners are, are boilers, are what they call a uh, tubeless boiler. They've basically got uh, various heating surfaces inside them and a fairly low water volume, so they steam up really fast. Almost a kind of a flash boiler. Uh, Anyway, uh, now it had a gas burner on it when I got it, pulled that off and have since modified a Bayran STW120P, which is the model with the built-in air pump, for vertical firing. Uh, currently you can only mount these in a horizontal fashion um, due to the oil tank. So what we've done as we've spun the oil tank around uh, so that it is facing upwards when the burner is facing downwards. Um, Bayrun basically have a round spigot in there with two grub screws to hold the tank in position. Uh, this burner casing was obviously designed to have a, a diesel pump on the end in various applications. Um, yeah, so this fitted in there and it enabled it to be turned around to suit. We did have to extend the wire that runs into the thermostat and float switch and element. So I got some five core wiring and reconnected that up. Um, what else? The oil drains had to be put in with a T-piece so you can get it out, get the oil out without it hitting the top of the boiler. Flange mounted on there. Now they're not a pure straight surface, I don't know why. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion this flange may be the wrong flange for this burner. Um, this does happen a bit with Bayran when you order things, sometimes they, they put the wrong stuff in, in the order. Um, and then on the oil suction line, which runs down to the nozzle, that had to obviously be extended up and we've put a solenoid valve in there. Now the solenoid valve is to stop siphoning when the burner is off, because we do not want oil dripping down into the interior of the boiler, because obviously when the boiler goes to start up, we could have an explosive situation in there. So the solution was a solenoid. Um, apart from that, everything else is Bayran factory standard. Uh, air solenoid at the top, the same Bessian controller, um, air pump, obviously with the addition of the solenoid which is wired into the same ports in the controller base as the air solenoid so when the air solenoid opens so too does the oil solenoid and then the solenoid has been drilled out inside to enable free flow um, it's a bit hard to get small solenoids like this that flow very good uh, so yeah we went with drilling out the orifice in the center and uh, that will enable unrestricted oil flow down to the nozzles. Still got to connect up our connector. Uh, it's pretty simple, this, <coughs> this boiler, it's just got a, it's got active neutral and earth. The black wire is our fault output and that's connected through a relay to the flame fail light on the control panel. Burn a switch. Um, got a pressure control on the side, uh, non-modulating burner on this originally, so yeah, basically it's on or it's off. Um, 
which made things easy. With our steam outlet valve. Yeah, so um, we will need to replace that safety valve. Uh, it is well seized, which is a shame. I think I've got a brand spanker there somewhere. I'll see if I can dig it out. That's our steam outlet, main steam stopcock. That's our makeup water pump. That's got to be remounted and the pipe work's got to be connected back up for that. Uh, it's got a solenoid there to prevent um, the boiler pressure from pushing back if the dual non-return valves fail. There's a flu outlet. We've got a, uh, a side steam outlet if you did want to add it. Um, it's probably more for inspections, that one, I'd say. And we've got three in the bottom. Uh, we call these mud plugs. And they are basically for cleaning out crap that gets into the bottom of the boiler. Um, you make up water there. There's a sight glass assembly which goes between those two fittings. It's just off at the minute so it doesn't get damaged. Um, drain and blow down at the bottom. Um, yeah. That's our connections there for our water level control. That's all part of the sight glass. Got a pressure gauge. Yeah. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this burner goes. Um, it's rigged up for 50 kilowatts. Um, I know the boiler says 75 kilowatts, but I believe that's a thermal, uh, sorry, a steam related figure, not the size of the burner. This burner appears to be the same size as the one that was originally on it. Um, yes. But yes, if you've got a top fired boiler and you need to convert it to waste oil, then if this is a successful modification, we will do special orders for this type of burner. If you're interested to learn more, check out the website, which is www.westernthermotechnics, no spaces, no underscores, .com.au. So business name. Float chamber on the top there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so we'll do a run video soon. Once we do, we've got to do a um, we've got to do a hydro test on this boiler because it has been out of commission for about 10, 12 years. Um, so we'll pull those mud plugs out, make sure it hasn't got any crap in there. Um, and then we'll do a hydrostatic test, which is where we fill the boiler right up to the top so that there's no air spaces inside. And then we'll pump it up to the test pressure, which is listed on here, I believe. Uh, working pressure. No, they don't have a test pressure on there. Uh, that's all right. We'll find out what it is. It'll be, it'll be somewhere. We'll find it. Look, the boiler runs at um, 120 PSI. So it's safe to say you'd probably go just under double that. Uh, so you take it up to 200 and <coughs> 240 PSI on the hydrostatic test. Hold it there for about 15, 20 minutes. Watch the gauge. It's all good. Take the pressure out and she's all good to go. All right, we'll catch you in the next video where hopefully we will do, be doing a run test and then we'll see how this little burner goes uh, getting this thing up to steam. All right, catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the next vid. Cheers.